We are bringing our troops home and we are three years from achieving we will not submit in the highest score possible. And after that, well, we need to worm our way somewhere, somehow, to be able to touch the Mongol Empire somewhere, someplace. Um, that's what we are going to work towards. We're still in a war with... Someone down here because of Egypt. For you, for that. How many troops you got? 6,000. How many troops we got? Probably none. Because we are still waiting to bring them home. So let's do that first. Now, of course, converting to Islam would be a silly thing to do given the brute force of crusader armies. And the regularity in which crusades are being called. Actually, probably one of the few things keeping us alive. Because they just kind of come and stomp everything out. And reduce things to ashes for us to pick the bones from. So for now we will just sit and wait for things to happen. My granddaughter is a countess. She definitely needs a good matrilineal marriage. She's eight. So let's get her someone in her age range with maybe something halfway good. There's nothing good. We have something. All baptized, child of a concubine. Get him for her. Just so we ensure the bloodline stays pure. Uh, type of friends we have. Oh, our husband is our friend. Lovely. The Jew. We could co secretly become Jewish, which I feel might things might make things even worse. I've never played as a Jew. Let's secretly convert to Jewish. Or we switch back to carousing, find ourselves a nice Muslim friend. For now, we will secretly convert to Jewish. I think that it, it would be absolute suicide to become Jewish. Publicly. Because then we would be absolutely caught between a rock and a hard place. We will increase your size of your band. You have a bit of money to spend. Let's see what is what. We need to build up some of these now. So let's start with stables. So we have a few oh, days from here. And we can look into this as well. Let's upgrade the stables once more. And we need our troops to replenish. Let's check the revolt risk. Looking okay. Religion, we're still converting. 
best we can. We don't have a court chaplain anymore. And no steward. Why? Why would that be? We have a good steward, luckily, and a good court chaplain. So let's do this. And go and convert at home. Eleven thousand. Crusaders, for some reason, are not engaging the Muslims. But what else is new? They have eighteen thousand. That's so much out of such a small area. A lot. But it's just these things here. How do they have so many troops? Crazy. Could we swear fealty to the Holy Roman Empire? No. Because having a sea... Well, we don't have a sea border with them. So there's a Crusader Egypt now. With our cousin in charge. Another cousin? I mean, our family is quite prolific, it looks like. Very least. We get to betrothal here. Really? Could become orthodox, but we don't want to. How about you marry someone? Nope. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. So... The Queen of Egypt and the Queen of Crusader Egypt are sisters. That is fantastic! So you have two... Female... Christian rulers down here. Trying their best to survive. And it's some it's it's actually four. We are part of that too. There's like this huge family of female Christian rulers around, and this guy is the odd man out. Oh! Jerusalem has become fairly prolific again. Oh they have a lot of higher troops. Never mind then. Can we imprison? See, who can we marry our sister to? Our son. Wife is dead. Now. Proving relationships over here. Won't do much. Can we get a betrothal for you? Oh yeah, let's do that. <laughs> He's a bit too old for it. Sadly. Let's tell her to take the vows. He's better off like that. Oh dear sister. Man, death has really brought havoc among my bloodline. Can get up to notable. But we want to go to full. Full is where it's at. 
Female commanders, female rulers no longer incur negative opinion modifiers. That's what we want. How far away are we from it? Ah, we're getting there. We're also getting here. Two more years. So the only thing really keeping us alive is our money. Because we manage it well. We don't spend it all. We try to make sensible decisions with it. Even though it doesn't always look like it. But he has... Wait. How does he have only 3,500 and something troops? We are already in a war against him, so we of course can't declare war against him. We could help our cousin by sieging that thing. How many garrison do you have? 900 and 800. So just our vassal levies might be enough. So let's use them and a bit of our personal levies as well. That should be enough troops. We put a siege to Bira. Did rulership change or did he just grow up? He grew up. That way we can contribute to the war from the safety of our own home. Uh, I think we need so much. What we are give just now. We lose a bit of money, but we're also going to get money from sieges. Oh no, we have a fever. Let's hope we are treated well by our court physician. Nothing. We are growing old. We have a lot of good traits. But I suppose it is her time at some point. This time the treatment was a little bit more successful. We have nothing better than this guy? The center. This. Let's see if there are any troops in Bira. Wow, a whole two. That's going to be harsh. Travels of Marco Polo. Ah. We're still kind of contributing. Not much, but we are. Need to keep an eye on this area. What is our spy master doing? Let's send him here so we get a better view. We have gout. Oh no. Not good to have at this age. But we will only go the safe route here. And the safe route again has treated us well. No need for theatrics. We have five years of well treatment. Should outlast this. Completely offsetting the effects of the gout. Very nice. I'll check this compulsively until it pops up. It's nothing big to swear fealty to, sadly. Wish I could. Okay. Let's speed it up a little bit. The siege is going to take a real long time. Pull some fortifications, so we increase this. Our niece is a mastermind theologian. Can be married to the Count of Bern. 
All right. We need to build up this a little bit so we become less attractive of a raiding target as well. There we go. We have earned this. So now we can become subject to someone, putting or taking away a lot of pressure. From me at least. Which is quite nice. Okay, so Miaphysite is now the heresy, Monophysite is now the true thing. Right, so we are all heretics. Lovely. We have friends who are Miaphysite or Monophysite rather. Now we do not have that. Oh, we could become Jewish. And why are we losing troops here? Supply limit is so high. Most peculiar woman has arrived at our court. Ow. Eh, yeah, sure. You can replace our friend. Our friend will understand, won't he? You can marry her. How about that? How about you marry the woman that just replaced you? Cannot. Or get another woman. She's homosexual, but... You know. Alright. So our council member is a little bit inactive. We set her to train troops at home. We'll just siege all of this down and then... Pull our troops back again. This is very op opportunistic of our side here. Oh, okay. So the Bulgarian band um, is up for grabs again, they're telling us. But I don't think... They become our mercenary band like that. It's just, hey, we you can hire us again. It's kind of like these emails you receive from stores where you bought something once 15 million years ago and they're like, hey, we still exist. Would you like some money with us? And you kind of dismiss them because no, not really. Thank you. Um... What is that? Who is this? Some courtier? I don't care. What is this? What is this army? Eh? Where are they from? Who are you? I am confounded. You could say confused. Where did these just come from? Just appeared out of nowhere down here. Okay, so we have managed to fortify this enough to fend off at least some raiders yes let us become close friends friends are always good and nice and we have gotten another victory now let's send our troops to tell those raiders to go bugger off Enemy is moving north as 
response to our sieges. We will just vanish into the smoke. Jewish exile arrives at our court. All right. Would make a fair counselor. Better than my son, anyway. But he can stay for now. How many troops do you have? 6,000 something. And raise enough troops. Take him out. Which would just prolong this war. But you know what? Let's do it. Let us do this. Shall go take out this army. For our dear cousin. He deserves some help. And we return to fend off those raiders again. We'll read a book. Which the game is going to tell us wasn't for us. So you can become depressed. Why would you want to become depressed? I always wondered. But uh, if you're depressed, you can commit suicide. So it can sometimes be a sensible thing to do. If you're a certain age. Right, so they're coming back. Uh, let's stand down all our own troops. And for some reason, we have higher troops? That's probably... Oh, that's what happened. That's what those men were. They were mercenaries, and they switched sides. That is what happened. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen that. Okay. Put those mercenaries to good use, shall we? Well, militarily speaking, we're doing okay here. Certainly be doing worse. Uh, but you'd are you bid have done something interesting? Of course we fight off the raiders again. Just keep increasing the increasing the fort level for a bit. Money well spent. But just going to keep putting those mercenaries to use. Didn't have to pay to raise them. We just kind of have to work with them. Dear cousin, can you maybe do something with the gift of warfare I am giving you up in the north? We'll just keep doing this dance with him. Until he has no more troops to send. And we keep building walls and fortifications. For now. And increase the garrisons as well. Get go by price for now. So we should rather get these. Some more militia.
and back into the fray. We're still earning money, so it's all right. Ah! We have taken the Emir himself captive. All right, so our cousin can't complain about us not contributing here. Definitely can't. We have won that war for her. Ah, we become close friends with another pious man in the realm. Let's keep him imprisoned and not do anything harsh, but dear cousin, how about you go ahead and declare victory? There we go. He has done it. Lovely. That was quite impressive. Why does he have only 2,000? Because he's just the duke. Uh, right. But Jazeera, he is weakened as all hell. Can we... Oh, we could only do a holy war on him and that's just going to backfire like crazy. Georgia is facing a revolt, but a uh, small one. The grand scheme of things. Ah. Alab is kind of weakened now. What can we do with him? Just holy wars. Or establish a tributary state. Could extort tribute because we are bigger than him. But we're not going to live all that much longer, so it would break free immediately. Pretty much. Can't we get you a wife? You're actually pretty good. Actually pretty good. Let's find you a wife. Eh, he is actually also pretty good. You would compliment him well. Okay, let's get him to court first. Unmarried heir. There we go. Now we have a bit more control over who he marries. The Duchess of Hellas. Sounds nice. 24. No kids so far. Has a bunch of troops herself. Where is Hellas? It's pretty close as well. So we might, if we if we do that, might get a bit of land out of her. Or the Duchess of Arabia. Duchess of Arabia. Not bad either, but it's in the realm of our dear cousin. Let's go for the Duchess of Hellas. you like an alliance? Yes. Perfect. So that got us a fairly strong alliance. Okay, I think we should check our prisoners. And ransom the lot. Up to 120 gold. Banish him. 467. And that was a pretty decent conclusion to the war that we fought for our dear cousin. Didn't really don't win for allies, but... For now, we've actually managed to do it.